Good morning everyone. As you can see this is HP ProBook 450Z2. So today in this video we're going to replace the keyboard because this keyboard panel no longer working. Most of the keys doesn't respond when I press it. So I must have to replace it. You can get the replacement for about 14 to 15 pounds. So here is the replacement. I got it from eBay. If you like the link, let me know. I'll leave it in the description. Now, let me show you some unique way to understand how to replace the keyboard. It depends on the back structure. As you can see, there are three screws. That means this panel attached to the laptop with three screws, which comes from the back, especially for HP, for that model. Okay. So now we need to get access to the screws from the back, remove the screws, then pull out the keyboard, disconnect the flex, put back the new one, and everything should be fine. That's the entire process. So first, you're gonna switch off your laptop, get access to the back. As you can see, there is only one screw. So we're gonna use the Phillips screwdriver and the flat opening tool, those are the tools. So first, foremost, always take out the battery, any power source. Okay, so first I'm gonna disconnect one screw to open up the back camera, slide down, and then another one slide out. Now, HP and Dell, what they do, they put the logo right next to the screws to identify which screws attach to the keyboard. So one of them on the right, another one on the left, another one on the left top. Okay. And as you found three screw holes back of the keyboard panel, that's mean three screws is all about to open. Now we're gonna open this laptop. Take the flat opening tool. And we're going to access from the front side. I mean, top side, not the bottom side. So it should come out without any trouble. There are a few prompts at the end. And sometimes if you drop any sort of liquid, especially the sugary one, like tea or coffee, then the actual sugar turns into adhesive uh, you might need to pull it a little bit harder than it is okay so this one already came off and now check the flex before we pull it as you can see this this one has the long flex it's much more easier to open up 